Hello everyone. I am Dharam Unnadkar. Welcome to you all to the subject effective technical communication. As we know, we are moving with the module number three that is technical communication. The first two topic of the module number three that we have covered in the previous video that is the first topic was public speaking and the second topic was the group discussion. Today. The third topic we are going to start is the presentation strategies. The presentation strategies you have to present something, and you need that many strategies to make the your presentation effectively. So this we will going to cover in this topic. Topic number three that is presentation strategies. First of all, what is the purpose of the presentation? Why we are presenting ourselves in front of the audience? For example, you you are seeing the advertisement. in the tvs or the live salesmen why they are presenting themselves so there are many purposes of the presentation in your student and the professional life today we are just now you are dealing with the student life or after the student life you are dealing with the professional life you may have to give the presentation at many occasions let's see at the student life at the end of your engineering that means at the 7th and the 8th semester you have to present yourself your project that is also one type of presentation every time the purpose of your presentation may be different in the student life the purpose of the presentation is to score the marks in the professional life to sell the product x y z suppose in the interview stage also in the multinational company company in the interview stage they have a stage like presentation so in, in that the purpose is different these purpose are as many for example first is to give the information many times to give the information that is the presentation strategy for example just now we are dealing with the corona virus so in the tv tv in the road side we are seeing the holdings that are they inform us they give the information to us regarding the consciousness of the corona so the presentation is to give the information or to explain a concept in detail in the student life in the project you have to explain a concept in detail also to create an awareness the presentation is for that also to present the purpose of your work to present the purpose of your work that means in the project time you have to present yourself at stage by stage today daily or monthly or quarterly today we have completed this much now further we are going to cover this month so it is you have to present yourself you have to present after a week also okay this week we have covered to your boss this week we have covered this much in the next week we are going to cover this much so you have to present yourself to your boss to explain your progress of work also one type of the purpose is to present in front of your professors for academic purpose this we have discussed also to present a plan of the project to delegate the work of the members of the team sometimes if you are the leader of the team and the boss gave the work to you that means the leader now you have to distribute this work to your below workers so you have to present yourself at that that time that this work is done by this person this work is done by this person so at this time you have to present yourself in the front of your colleagues so there are many many more purposes of the presentation strategies now these are the important why we are learning the presentation so these are the purposes now what are the strategies the topic name is presentation strategies so the first is the preparation as seen above we have seen the pur purposes there are different purpose of presentations in order to fulfill this purposes or in or in other words in order to make our presentation effective or through preparation is required so for this completing our purposes the through preparation is required this is this we know in every stage the preparation is required in order to make a good presentation we have to divide this into three main phases first is planning second is presenting and third is sorry first is planning second is preparing and third is the presenting we have to divide our presentation in this three stages or this three phases planning preparing and presenting 
First is the planning. This is very important phase where three steps namely now in the planning there are three steps which are the first is the defining purpose second analyzing audience and third is the analyzing venue venue means the place of the presentation where where the place where you have to present so you have to analyze that so in the planning first stage or the first phase of the presentation strategies it is further divided into defining purpose second analyzing audience and third is analyzing venue defining purpose it means clarifying in your mind the purpose of the presentation what you have, what is the purpose of your presentation you have to give the information you have to present yourself your work you have to get clarify in the interview what is the purpose why you are giving the presentation that first you have to clarify in your mind you must think and analyze what you want to achieve through the presentation and what all need to be done for that after the presentation you have to decide from this presentation what i need that you have to first clarify whether you want to create an awareness or persuade audience you have to include such illustrations and proof in your content which could your thought on the topic so according to your content according to your purpose you have to input the illustrations and the proof then and then only your presentation will be effective being clear about your purpose it is important as it helps in deciding what to present and how to present so clarifying in your mind clears you that you what to present and how you have to present so first sub topic is the defining the purpose second analyzing audience you must try to find out who is your audience this we are discussing many times that you must aware of your audience if you are going to deliver the presentation in your college or the organization if you are student then you have to present yourself in the college or the organization then you may know everyone but if you are invited outside your presentation then you must inquire the organization about the audience for example in the 7th or 8th semester you have to present yourself the your project with your project it is in your in the same college where you are studying so the professors that you know and the your colleagues that you are familiar with the atmosphere but if the same project that you have to deliver in the other college then the venue are different there you have to familiar with the org with the organization with the environment of the organization where you are going to present so there the audience are different so you have to analyze the audience once you know the audience you can note down points which are relevant to your audience so that while preparing the content you may include such points and examples so analyzing your purpose for example if in the, in the other college you are going to submit your project or presenting your project and that faculty is of the is of understanding of different languages so at that time you have to familiar with that language because now you are not presenting to your professor but you are presenting outside your college outside your organization so analyzing the audience is very much important and the last is analyzing venue you must be aware of the place where you have to make the presentation as it helps in deciding how you are going to present analyzing venue means as we have discussed the place where you are going to present it will so it will decide how you are going to present if you know the place you will you will more comfortable at the presentation time if you have to present outside your organization then it is advisable to visit the place and check for various things keep in mind if you are not presenting in your organization or your college you have to once visit that place before the final presentation what you are seeing there what will you see there reaching or visiting there whether the projector is available or a black or the white board if you need black or white board board is there at your venue whether a podium will be given or not podium means where you are going to stand that the front part it is available or not so if it is not you have to well dressed that way if it is there are podium before us it will be look good that you are only visible half so the podium will be given or not how big is the room how 
big is the room where you are presenting whether there is a space for moving around in the room or stage is there or not etc so this you have to is there any pillars between your presentation room if there are pillars after that pillar you have to avoid the chairs so this all you guess after visiting once visiting the place gives you an idea how you have to prepare for the presentation and it also helps you in listening your nervousness due to the fear of the unknowns so when you are reaching in the new place you are, you have you are dealing with the unknown atmosphere you are dealing with the unknown persons you are dealing with the unknown place so after visiting once you are familiar with that so first after dividing the three stages the first stage is further divided into the defining purpose analyzing audience and analyzing venue the second and the third topic that is the preparing part and the presenting part of the presentation strategies will be further continue in the upcoming videos thank you